See if it's puck him. Hello and welcome back to another revision. Uh, this game is called uh, Sneaky Beat. Uh, to all of you new to the channel, uh, we are uh, basically uh, reviewing games of our board game Tribu, uh, which is uh, a very tactical uh, battle uh, board battle game. It's a classical game, and um, essentially, uh, if you're a mastermind, then you will surely will have a lot of fun playing it. Uh, and in the first nominated for the Mind uh, Gaming Prize, uh, it's like a um, it's uh, a group of people in uh, Germany, and they review uh, very um, intriguing games from like a tactical tactical standpoint. So, you know, that's something. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt you, but uh, as you mentioned, this game is called Sneaky Pete. I was afraid that I am on the wrong channel. Uh, that we are well, th our game is Tribune and. The game revision of today is Sneaky Pete, but anyways. Yeah, and so essentially we have these towers. They have little symbols on top that uh, change depending on their height. And how they move uh, also change with their height. And obviously a, a big thing does a lot of damage and uh, can take a lot of damage. And so that's basically the game in a nutshell, and uh, you can then re restructure the, these pieces. Uh, if you, you want to know more about the rules, uh, the, in the simulator are the manuals. You can uh, read through them down in the description, and we have a tutorial series. And we are going to make like a, a quick sort of tutorial video uh, where you get everything in one place, and uh, the, but in the future, um, and that's how you could learn it too. So, yeah. And I'm really considering to change the name from Tribune into Sneaky Pete. How about that? No, okay. but not. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so, <laughs> what I did in the game is, uh, uh, per as per usual, uh, I, I created bigger things. It's a very simple tactic, just make bigger things, good things are going to happen. Because bigger things have different movement patterns, and if this somehow in the future would open up, then you see this dude has large eyesight and triggers down into the alley of my complete defense line. Well, and you know, I try to develop a little I am a friend of these archers because they have a really special movement pattern and they can jump around protecting each other and, and firing at the enemy position. But I have to admit these laser beaming guys down here are quite threatening, yeah? And if you take a look at these three, you can stack them up. Oh, ah, that's... not like this. Like this, and I planned ahead and uh, was go going to do something along the lines of this, mm. where I would attack you. That was kind of the idea. Mm. Yeah, that's very special. Uh, normally, we play with the advanced rules, so that means you can use uh, symmetrical combinations. Uh, for the first games, we recommend that you play with the usual rules. Uh, this means uh, if you want to combine, you have to choose two of your units combining into another one. Okay. Yeah, and so w what basically happened was I just opened this up and prevented this uh, prematurely. So the music was missing. Oh, sh yeah, that, that was... <laughs> Anyhow, um, and now you cannot do this as... I'm threatening you directly. So uh, before that, that would have been like an option, and then I could have attacked you. But now, I would just take you if you spawn. So, so I'm kind of sniping into your position. Mm. 
and I'm not really convinced in retrospect. I mean, this dude is protected a little, protected a little by this archer, but not sufficiently. I can just take three things, and now you can take another piece. And so, I'm already down one material. I mean, this does not seem a lot, but in Tribun this may sum up, and at some point, yeah, the amount matters. Yeah, but <clears throat> I've lost, uh, I've won games uh, down 10 pieces, so... Yeah, you can sacrifice. It depends, again. really. Um, Rip open the position of the enemy and then cash out. So, yeah, yeah, I'm threatening just to take. You're, well, defending against that, so that's kind of reasonable thing to do right now. I'm just looking ahead. Yeah, you know, only good yeah. things can happen. <laughs> yeah, putting pressure. The only good thing f uh, f in my account is that this ballista is keeping its eye on this rank. So if you would take here, I would not lose contact with this archer. So this is not a distraction move. Yeah. But anyway, I'm jumping ahead and threatening this dude. Asking some questions. Do you really want to belong here? Nope. He does <laughs> not want to. I'm basically counter-threatening. Yeah, I, you think, I think you pinned me here. Oh, no, you didn't. I pinned myself. <laughs> so it's basically a, a fight for this hexagon. Mm. And... Uh, I think and you I need something like this. Pile up the yeah. pressure. And basically, this is uh, the only piece that is very. that prevents something very devastating. Uh, he's guarding this hexagon. And the problem c would be if that would happen, and I couldn't take, then I would have to move. And the uh -huh. problem isn't that I have to move, the problem is that uh, damage can be done now. Yeah, this archer would fire just around inside of your position, but hey, you, you prevented me from doing so. Yeah, and so this is why, uh, and, and so this threat isn't that big, because uh, as I said, I have this one. Now I am, yeah, you have this piston here and I have my piston here. Now I'm trying to hammer down, just bulldozing through, yeah, and sacrificing material all the way down. Yeah, see, I took there, I was calculating, hey, I could take this archer, but this would have meant, could we maybe take back one step and, and another one? If I had chosen this one to get taken, then what? You could have retaken. And this dude is still protected by two units, so I cannot m just bulldoze through. It's not possible. And so I thought maybe dealing damage on this dude. And if you take, I can retake. And I'm crouching nearer and nearer that's why this video is called sneaky pete you know pete is sneaking with his sneakers eating his sneakers now i i think i contemplated this you can take there and i think you saw it yes um yeah i can't but... take why the tactics below the surface you did not retake uh, some of you may think, hey, can this dude attack? Yes, he can, but he would take two two pieces. And then this emerging Aquas would bring death to the Tribune, so it's virtually undefended. Yeah, just repair. Oh, yeah. Good idea. So you have to go all in and say, well... You're pretty close, but how about this, Equus? Now you're calling the shots by 
I have a very simple move to avoid contact with this dude. Well, yeah. and the situation here did not change, right? It didn't, yes. Oh, oh it has been a long day. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I took there and that was a terrible move for a lot of reasons. Um, yeah. The problem is that I don't have a, a lot of options. See, um, probably the most reasonable thing would have been to do something along the lines of uh, this. Mm. And even that is uh, questionable. A, no, this is uh, this is still bad. It loses to this move. Um, yeah. so yeah, I've yeah, it's a fork, uh, yeah. gotten it's, my, it's no, it's deep. death. Ah, it's actually this death. Is, yeah, it is a fork and it is death because this dude is preventing the escapes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's sorry. already pretty bad. If six soldiers arrive in your neighborhood, you better be equipped. Yeah, so then probably I sh I should have done this and just bailed out to yeah. the side of the board something like running away like this and then hoping to stall it out right but um I would have probably lost the two of them and uh, that would have been very devastating but most likely I had to split up to hunt you all the way down and if this dude splits up it gets not back in time to save its tribune so maybe this could have been a tactic right yeah but anyway i don't think that. i basically i th i think you would just claim my equus here uh and, and then then what right so um, yeah you you would just pick this dude come here say hello and yeah, then and, at least this dude is gone imagine this takes this and another one takes takes then you can take two pieces but you are no, 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 no. you can four, but, four uh, pieces but nah. see I, I don't really like this position it just I, I it looks pretty much dead um but, and all but your advantage it was gone probably been better but i took there uh, and similarly to how i lost uh, when I showed you the combination, I lost to this move. Yeah. And I resigned here. Um, why did I resign? Uh, because it's basically pointless. So... Yeah, you can just... To this field, you can just run. There's no possibility of combining here, getting bigger, and... And, and this is just... Oh no, this does not work. Uh, because uh, you could, because you could have, yeah, but there is certainly a way to bring you down. This is not the way either, but uh, this would be. Mm. So there's a double attack. Yeah. This one uh, prevents the escape. This escape is prevented by this one, and he's guarded from him. Yeah, and one important fact, he is now guarding this dude, so there is no way... It, it doesn't matter that the Ballista supports the Tribune to get onto this field, now it's protected and he would die. And if you combine or walk here, no, it's... Well, yeah, well, you, you had to say, block. Let, let's say something like this. Yeah, then... Well, most Good likely luck. something with yeah. Then the you have the two arches. Uh, the, the so essentially, either you block and get hit by the two arches, or you run and you get hit by uh, the two two one one. And so it's basically like uh, yeah, thank you for playing, <laughs> and that's why I gave up. I mean, if you take a look at this area, it's completely wiped out from your pieces. The same in my position. The complete center stage is freed up. But you're uh, you have combined already. Yeah, so that's right. Very tough to uh, to like get you. 
almost impossible. My next jump would be here, and now I'm safe among my men. I can block in any way, and, and at least for two consecutive move, uh, two consecutive moves, uh, safe in this hideaway. Honestly, I even like uh, r running this way better. Well, not on this hexagon, maybe, but uh, this here. Oh no! no, 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 no. Well, maybe oh, then no. uh, you actually. Well, I think then it's the best. Well, um, a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, basically, uh, maybe this is also interesting. The reason I ruled out this move um, is that you have, you are on black, so you can only run on white and gray and there are white and gray attackers so that's already not such a great thing and this is like the most valuable asset you want to run along the sides and attack mm. and now that's not possible which is why i thought going here would be better as you would have this but this is not possible for that reason and uh. this doesn't work also and so this is basically the only viable option and the reason i didn't like this um is i thought if you like th this hexagon is great this is basically your plan forward you want to take here and get out but and i thought get well, in here <laughs> and so i thought but uh if you would uh, be prevented from going here you would have to go there and that really sucks yeah like, the uh, board this, normally. Is, this is a meh alternative as you don't have a lot of space this is covered and these two are mm. also covered so i don't i don't like this very much yeah but it's a battlefield not a cozy cushion but yeah, you would try to get there, and from there you would try to get uh, to the enemy tribune. So, for example, from here to here, here to here, here to here, uh, here to here. Could Good. be an idea. Yeah, that's right. Good to here. <laughs> to here. Yeah, goodbye I'm screen. Echoing, echoing, echoing. What? <laughs> goodbye screen? Goodbye, goodbye screen. screen. I'm turning off the music. Uh, yeah, well, as you mentioned before, it was a long day. We were both a little tired out. Uh, but uh, we will bring our views to the screen every Friday. We made this promise and we'll keep it. Um, hope you find this uh, game as intriguing as we do. Uh, it's amazingly beautiful and complex and you can do such a lot of things. We had guests at our table on exhibitions and they weren't used to this kind of games and they were just boom, mind blown and said whoa what a game yeah it is and check out the description below you find everything you need to play tribune online on the tabletop simulator uh, and all the real board stuff the manuals in english and german uh, the printout for the 3d pieces and the board and such things and I would say uh, that's it for the moment. Keep in contact. We'll be back in next Friday. And see us soon. On Tribune.